In this demonstration, you'll learn how to manage your activations using the ANSYS licensing portal. During this demonstration, we will discuss viewing, downloading, rehosting, and deactivating license files, and examining server history. Prior to watching this demonstration, we recommend that you watch the Activating Entitlements video. We will start this demonstration on the ANSYS licensing portal entitlements page. From the Entitlements page, click the Manage Activations option. The Manage Activations page displays the active and inactive servers for the customer you have selected. In addition to being able to examine each server's history, the icons to the right of each server provide access to a variety of activation management functions. Click the View icon to show the current activations file for the corresponding server. A list of entitlements and the counts activated on the selected host ID are displayed, along with their start and expiration dates. Once you have completed your review of the license file activated on the selected host ID, click OK to close the display. Click the Download icon to download a local copy of the active license file for the corresponding server. The license file is downloaded to the download folder specified in your browser preferences. The license file is ready to be installed on the selected license server, identified by the information provided during the activation process. Click the Rehost icon to rehost the license file active on the current server to a different server. Enter a new or existing host name, host ID type, and host ID. Alternatively, you can populate these fields by clicking the Upload button and using the file created from the Get System Host ID option available on the ANSYS License Management Center or a previous license key for that host ID. Click Save. The list of entitlements and the counts to be deactivated from the source server and activated on the destination server are displayed. After reviewing the changes, click OK to finalize the rehosting procedure. The entitlements are deactivated on the source server and activated on the target server. The license file for the target server is downloaded to the download folder specified in your browser preferences. After completing the rehost procedure, stop the ANSYS License Manager software on the source server and remove the license file to prevent further user action. Click the Deactivate icon to deactivate the active entitlements from the corresponding server. The list of products to be deactivated is displayed. After reviewing the changes, click OK to finalize the deactivation procedure. After completing the deactivation procedure, stop the ANSYS License Manager software on the corresponding server and remove the license file to prevent further user action. Click the arrow to the left of the appropriate server line to expand the history of actions that happened on that server. The history of modifications to the corresponding server are displayed along with information regarding the type of action, the actor that made the action, and the timestamp. Click the arrow to the left of the history entry to further expand the details of the selected action. The details of the selected action are displayed along with information on the entitlements that have been modified during that action. Click the Download History icon to download a CSV file containing the complete history for the active or inactive servers. The CSV file is downloaded to the download folder specified in your browser preferences. This concludes this demonstration of managing your activations using the ANSYS licensing portal.